This morning in Project Fitness, an app that's been keeping people all across the country moving and staying fit. We are talking about Peloton, and here to tell us all about it is trainer Maddie Magiacomo, who is actually social distancing in Rhode Island. Maddie, good morning. Good morning, Ashley. How are you? I am doing great, and I am so excited to talk to you. I am a recent Peloton follower, user. When we all kind of got, you know, locked down at home, I downloaded the app because I heard about it and have loved it ever since. But it's much more than just cycling, which I think it's probably most well-known for, right? Absolutely. So Peloton is a global connected fitness brand. We specialize in that at-home fitness experience. But really what we aim to do is to bring that New York City boutique fitness experience right to your living rooms. And this is something that we've been doing since 2013. So we're not new to the game here. This was happening even before we had to work out at home. Yeah, absolutely. And I think people think of the bike, but there is every type of class you can really think of. I have been loving the outdoor running classes because you need no equipment. You guys have strength. I mean, you really have a little bit of everything. Across the board. So, uh, I mean, my favorite, I, I, you know, I live in New York City, so I always need a break. I'm actually loving our meditation content. So we do yoga, meditation, cycling, strength. I'm a running, a tread, and a strength instructor. So we do these really great boot camps, whether they be 30 minutes, 45 minutes. So really what we want to do for those that are at home is just bring a really dynamic, well-rounded experience. Um, and yes, it's so much more than just the bike. Absolutely. Now, you said, you know, you live in New York, but you're not in New York right now. Yeah. Tell us about where you are and why you're there. <laughs> Could you tell? Could you tell? So, <laughs> all right. So, um, you, so just a few months ago, obviously, before the pandemic hit in the intensity that it did, we were about to unwrap and open the doors to this big, beautiful broadcast studio on the west side, uh, close to the Hudson Yards development in Manhattan. And we realized very quickly that we were not going to be able to open the doors, not only to the public, but also to our employees to keep everybody safe. So our production team, uh, and again, we, we really master in innovation. So we have a group of very, very smart people who are uh, willing to innovate and really think on their feet. They were able to set up 15 remote live from home studios in three different countries, okay? So we're currently broadcasting from Germany. We're currently uh, broadcasting from the United Kingdom and the United States. So most of the live from home studios in the United States are situated in, in and around New York. And then we have this one little studio in Smithfield, Rhode Island in my parents' basement. I love it. That's my favorite <laughs> studio. So people who are at home right now, you know, we're all kind of a little bit frustrated probably by being stuck at home. What tips can you offer people to stay motivated right now? It's really hard, right? Because all of a sudden the structure is lost. The kids are home. Uh, folks are homeschooling. There are endless Zoom conferences. Uh, you have to you have to find time to cook. You have to find time for your own personal fitness, and you know maybe to cry in the closet. Who knows? It all depends. So we want to keep people motivated. All right. So the first thing is the problem that I have with a lot of my members and a lot of the people that I've worked with in the past is they say, "I'm going to start out and I'm going to work." Six minutes a day and I just say it's too ambitious if you're just starting just commit to what you know you can commit to so I say 20 minutes a day to get started four times a week okay from there it really helps and this is something that I've benefited benefited from because I live alone in New York City um, having accountability partners so it just is a fun little challenge you could always team up as well maybe you do mom and dad versus the kids and then whoever reaches that mileage goal at the end of the week is the one that uh, basically the other team has to cook dinner for. <laughs> nice. Now, Maddie, I cannot recommend the Peloton app enough for people to check out. We're going to post more info from Maddie over at roadshow.com to help you stay motivated.